What's going on gamers? It's Fox2 and today I'm bringing you some Domination Ground War gameplay from Base 6 member Crowing Panda. Thank you for starters uh, for the gameplay Panda. I really appreciate that. He's using the AN94 but today we're not going to talk about the gameplay at all. First of all, I want to ask you guys, you might have noticed the intro was a little bit different. Um, something I want to throw in there for when I feature other Basics clan members in my gameplays, in my videos rather. And let me know what you think about it. Uh, I made that I made that intro myself with Adobe After Effects and I'm pretty proud of it. But I'd like some honest feedback on what you guys think. Was it good? Was it bad? You know, should I get rid of it and do, a, do another one? Let me know what you think. But, on to the main topic at hand, something that a lot of us are really excited about as Call of Duty fans. Uh, the, the Call of Duty Ghosts Multiplayer World Ride Review. Reveal. Yeah, reveal. That is, man, that's a mouthful. Anyway, so we got our first glimpse of Call of Duty Ghosts Multiplayer gameplay today actual gameplay footage not some theatrical trailer commercial thing with you know warriors of the past dancing around in masks we don't care about that we want to see gameplay so I took the time and watched just about 100% of the press conference so that I could see and hear as much of what the developers had to say and take notes and just go through all of the technical details for all of you subscribers so that I can give you my honest opinions of where the game is at at this point in the developmental stages based on me being a average gamer meaning not a professional gamer like optic nade shot or you know any of these guys that are out there playing for mlg so that being said let's talk about call of duty ghosts okay um first of all the graphics the textures the sounds all of it looked and sounded amazing. The textures and the graphics are super clean, super crisp, very, very, very good. It's definitely a step above Black Ops 2 or any other first-person shooter that we've seen at this point. You know, I'm not going to say it's going to be better than Battlefield 4. I don't know for sure at this point, but I'm a Call of Duty fan, so I'm, you know, I'm leaning that way. Anyway. So I've got a list of keynotes here that I want to go over. Some of the new features that they implemented into the Call of Duty Ghosts game are three main things in the way that you actually play the game, the way you control your character, the way that you move, okay? One is con contextual leaning, okay? You're probably looking at your computer screen right now saying, what the hell is that? What are you, that didn't make any sense. Okay, contextual leaning means as you come up to a ledge, as you come up to the edge of a brick wall, as you're taking cover um, around a corner, rather than having to, you know, move your character's whole body left and right to peek out, the game itself will recognize the fact that you're trying to peek around a corner, and instead of moving your entire body, meaning the bottom of your foot to the top of your head of your character model, out from the edge of the building it will simply lean the top half or top portion of your body around the corner so you can peek around corners and then fire on enemies without having to press any new buttons there's no change in the button schematics to you know you don't have to hit a special button combination or anything like that to do this the game knows when you're gonna try and look around a corner so my thoughts on this could be really good, could be kind of aggravating. We'll have to see how the algorithms are. We'll have to see how, you know, how they they programmed it in and how it actually responds to to being near ledges and stuff. So we'll we'll see how that goes. Secondly, the knee slide. Okay, this is a big one. They did away with the dolphin dive that Treyarch does. Obviously, uh, Infinity Ward has never had the dolphin dive, and they've never had anything comparable to the dolphin dive. So. In response to the dolphin dive, they came up with the knee slide, which is not, they're not the first people to do this. Um, 
Warfighter, uh, the game I'm, I'm, I can't think of the name of, Medal of Honor. Medal of Honor Warfighter has a knee slide in it, okay? Same type of, same type of action. Um, it's just a way to transition from running to crouching or prone, seamlessly. Uh, I like it. I think it could be really neat. Uh, and third, the big movement change is mantling, okay? Instead of just, like, hopping, you know, statically from one spot to the next spot to the next spot like Mario, like we do now, instead, you can run and hurdle over objects. And so, it, you know, from the... You really have to kind of see it. So I would definitely recommend you checking out the gameplay um, trailer that they... That they showed during the press conference but it looks pretty seamless it looks pretty good uh, another thing that I really liked was the perk system okay in Black Ops 2 they introduced the new pick 10 perk system or create a class system rather and I absolutely love it I think that has completely changed the face of Call of Duty and made it a much more customizable and it's made it more of an adventure to try new things, try different combinations that you maybe wouldn't have tried in Black Ops 1 or in Modern Warfare 3 or things like that. So Infinity Ward realized that Treyarch came up with something absolutely brilliant and they're playing off of that. It's not exactly the same, but basically there's going to be a ton of perks. I can't remember the exact number, but it, I'm pretty sure it was like over 20 perks. And you get allotted an, um, a certain points amount, like we'll say 8 points or 11 points. I think it was 11 points. And each perk is assigned a certain point value from 1 to 5. And you can have as many perks as you want as long as you fit within the allotment that you're allowed. So I think that that's going to be, I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be very similar to the pick 10 system that we have now in Black Ops 2 with a slight twist. So I think that could be really good. Um, there's a squad system for leveling up, meaning you can have multiple characters and level them up separately. I'm not, I'm not 100% clear on exactly how this is going to work, but it, it looks like it has potential. I don't really want to weigh in too much on this just yet because I'm not... I'm not 100% certain on exactly how I feel about it yet. Uh, game modes. Two game modes that stuck out to me. One was Cranked. Cranked is a, ta a twist on uh, Team Deathmatch where once you, get your f once you get your first kill, then you have a 30 second timer to get another kill or you blow up and die. Every time you get a kill though, your character speeds up. You get additional perks to speed you up. So that could be really fun. And there's a twist on Search and Destroy, which is called Search and Rescue, which looks like a hybrid between Search and Destroy and Kill Confirm. So we'll see how that goes. But other than that, the big news was that competitive gaming, MLG will be supporting uh, Call of Duty Ghosts, Infinity Ward will be supporting Call, uh, in competitive gaming, and that's huge. So if you like the video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Other than that, have a great day, guys.